And what happens is, is we lose sight of our breath and we wind up breathing like the world. Mm -hmm. And when we breathe like the world, we begin feeling what's unresolved in the world. We then interpret that through our ego as if it's our experience. Mm -hmm. And then we have something spiritual to resolve in ourselves. Mm -hmm. But simply, if we realize the moment we feel out of alignment, fearful, distrusting, whatever the symptom is, mm -hmm. if that becomes a moment that we can stop and simply change the rhythm of our breath, mm -hmm. if I breathe differently than the world or if you breathe differently from the world, you begin to unhook from empathing from the world. And then you return back to your own individual energy field where whatever you've taken on from the world can be cleared and transmuted as you return to your own individual experience. So when we breathe differently than the world, we actually bring forth a light that heals the world. And so, you know, by and large, a lot of humanity is not becoming very mindful of its breath, is not taking its time. The fact that it looks like everyone's in fast forward is to our evolutionary benefit. So if we can start living differently than the world, if we can start mindfully breathing differently than the world, which is simply take our time with breath, not necessarily deep breath, but just slow breathing. We just breathe a little bit slower. We listen just a little bit longer. We speak just a little bit slower. All these little things. What we're going to do is we're going to wind up being our own individual energy field. We're going to be a space through which the light of our soul can shine into the world and begin uplifting the planet instead of us kind of mirroring and kind of merging into the planet to be a reflection of what yet, has yet to be healed. So it always begins with the breath, and the breath is what returns us to our own experience so we can realize that the discord we often feel is not ours personally, it's just what is yet to be healed in the planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Yeah, ah, I'd say you respond with a breath and that's just a, a great confirmation of the deepest wisdom of, you know, because again, how many times do we sit there and feel something and we interpret it as, why am I feeling fear? Why am I feeling sadness? The question is framing it as if it's ours. And then what do we do? We look to our history. I'm afraid because this happened in the past and it's not, you're not gonna get incorrect answers. You just may not get relevant answers because in that moment, you're not actually feeling your fear. You're simply feeling humanity's unprocessed fear. And the only way to help humanity process a fear that's not yours is to change the way you breathe. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Powerful. Powerful and simple. Very simple. Yeah. And another part of it is... For a lot of people, sitting still or taking a moment to breathe is new. It, it, it may not feel familiar because we're just used to breathing the way people around us breathe. There's this kind of feeling like we often act like these energetic chameleons where I'm going to breathe like people around me because subconsciously, the belief, subconsciously, not consciously, the belief is if I can be like other people, I might be better liked by people. It's a very subconscious program. So what happens is, is that, you know, we can stop and breathe and that's a good practice, but for a lot of people stopping to breathe can be a little uh, abrupt and arduous because the ego is not used to this new rhythm. So what we do to soften the edges of the practice is that when it's time to slow our breathing, as we stop noticing how we're feeling, not ours, it's of humanities. And as we slow our breathing, we can also just put our hands on our hearts. And just putting our hands on our hearts, even if we have the awareness to even say, I love you to our heart. As if every I love you we're saying to our own heart is going to all of humanity. And that as we slow our breath, we take it as a moment to offer ourselves the love and encouragement and support that perhaps the past never provided us. So while we're slowing our breath to clear the energy of the collective, we're also bringing love to our own hearts to nourish ourselves on a personal level. And what this also does is it kind of heals the division between transcendent spiritual reality and lower personal experience. Mm -hmm. We're really divine and human in our mastery is one. Mm -hmm. And so we love our hearts to heal the planet. We slow our breath to clear the collective for the well-being of all. 
Mm-hmm. And we do it to liberate ourselves from this empathic misunderstanding. We also love our, ourselves to be the support companionship mm-hmm. and beloved attention that perhaps the past has never was, you know, offered us. So there's so many things that occur just by slowing our breath and loving ourselves more often. We slow our breath to become more safe and receptive to receive more love. And we love ourselves more often to actually align with the power of the breath. And so that's like an infinity symbol. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I call the two-part spiritual practice. Mm-hmm. We slow our breath to become more receptive to love. And we love ourselves to be worthy of deeper breath. 